This unboxing video is going to be on a essential oil distillation setup that I recently bought off of Amazon India. Do click on the Amazon product link given in the description below in case you're interested in buying one for yourself. A lab essential oil distillation apparatus is used to extract essential oils on a small scale from a wide range of plant materials at home or in a lab setting. I've made a separate video explaining the component parts and the functions of this apparatus along with a detailed demo of the distillation unit in action using a plant material. Do click on the link given in the screen right now or the link in the description below to watch that video. According to the product images and description on Amazon, the distillation unit is supposed to contain a heating mantle that can accommodate up to a 1000 ml capacity round bottom flask, a 1000 ml boiling flask, a 1000 ml container flask, a connector tube, a Graham type condenser, a essential oil outlet tube with stopcock, two transparent rubber pipes, a supporting stand with a three finger clamp and four joint clips or keck clips. All the glass components of the distillation unit are made of 3.3 expansion borosilicate glass according to the product description. Having said all that, let's get right to the unboxing of the distillation unit. The product arrived in a firmly strapped carton box with no significant external wear and tear. On opening the box, the inside is neatly and completely packed in a very traditional fashion using hay straws. Making our way through the thick cushion of hay, we have what appears to be the individual components of the distillation setup neatly packed in smaller cardboard boxes. First taking out the boxes one by one before opening them up. As we begin opening one random box, a thick cushion of paper shreds welcomes you further. So it's really assuring by now as to the integrity of the glassware components. Splendid packaging. We first have here the connector tube in pristine condition. Let's keep that aside. We also have the outlet or separator tube with PTFE stopcock packed within the same box. Proceeding to a second box. We have here the 1000 ml borosilicate container flask also in perfect condition. Within the same box are packed the four pieces of plastic joint clips or keck clips. In a third box is packed the 1000 ml borosilicate two necked round bottom boiling flask with a polyethylene stopper in the side neck. And here is the electric heating mantle which I kind of feared might not have been packed by the seller judging by the size of the main box. But here it is. 
The heating mantle has a adjustable temperature knob with a maximum setting of 100 degrees Celsius. So basically this heating device can only be used to boil water and other liquids with boiling points below 100 degrees. Moving on to the final cardboard box, which appears to be the box that holds the condenser. Here's the Graham condenser in perfect condition. And here's the base for the supporting stand and also the boss head for the clamp. And here's the steel rod for the stand. And the three finger clamp. Animal coated and very good quality. Both the steel rods and the clamp were kind of hidden among the hay straws and I failed to notice them while unpacking the main box. I clearly thought they would be missing and was beginning to get a bit disappointed during the course of my unboxing. But here they are. And finally here's the rubber pipe probably over a meter long and can be cut into different lengths of choice. So this is my new essential oil distillation setup from Amazon and sold by the seller Harpal Sons. It was all in all a satisfying purchase experience. And the best thing about this setup is that it comes with a 1000 ml capacity electrical heating device. I can use this heater as heat source for the vacuum distillation unit also bought from Amazon but came without a heating mantle. In fact, this heater will find multiple applications in the lab and I'll most probably be using this in all my future experiment videos that involve boiling liquids and round bottom flasks. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more such lab videos.